The word for today, set your mind. Set your mind on things above. Colossians 3 verse 2. Setting your mind is similar to setting a thermostat. It determines the climate you live in. So instead of trying to stop thinking wrong thoughts, fill your mind with God's word. Jesus told his disciples that the Holy Spirit would remind them of what he had taught them. See John 14, 26. So when you file the scriptures in your memory bank, God's Spirit will pull those files when you need them. Picture an amateur pilot navigating through his first storm. He can't see any landmarks around which to fly because they are locked in a fog. But then a voice comes from the controller in the tower saying, just listen to me and I'll guide you. Jesus said, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. John 16, 33. Paul writes, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and mind in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 6-7 For example, what should you do when the economy is bad? Recognize that neither the stock exchange nor the government decide your security. God does. What should you do when someone criticizes you? Take what's good and let no one but God determine your worth. By keeping your mind on God's word, you're at peace in any situation. That is the word for today.